My name is Jared and you're watching Backroad Exploration. Today I'm in the garage because I want to showcase a couple of the projects that I've been working on over the past few weeks. We've owned this GX460 for six months now. Absolutely love it and I'm just slowly doing a build. When I introduced this, I told it with you it was going to be a slow build and it has been. We're just adding nice little features and refinements and accessories over time. The two projects that I've been working on lately are a roof rack from the guys over at Prinsu. I'm not going to give you a detailed how to install on that because they already have an incredible video for that. And then I've been working on a plate mounting system for the rear that can easily be removed so that we can put our fridge and the fridge slide in the back because it's so convenient, especially here in Utah and you're really hot weather to not have to be dealing with ice. So I have built a little system back there. I'm just putting the finishing touches on it and I want to show you everything from installing the roof rack to the projects that we're working on with the fridge slide. Let's get started. This is going to be an awesome addition to the GX. Now you may be wondering why I went with Prinsu versus all of the other racks. And if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I had a Gobi rack before. I love that Gobi rack. I really like the Gobi rack that goes with the GX460 as well, but it's more expensive than the Prinsu rack and the lead times on it are outrageous. And the reason that I went with the Prinsu rack is because it's kind of like the industry standard for racks for the GX460. It's just an incredible rack. There's a bunch that have been modeled after it. It was built by guys here in Utah in the Heber area. I believe a couple years ago they were purchased by CBI. And so now they're under that umbrella. But I like that they're a local to me company in Utah slash Idaho. And I'm excited to put this in. I really like the look. They're sleek. They're functional and it's something that you can do on your own, which is another part that I wanted. So we're going to jump in, start building this thing. Well, that is a wrap on the install of the Prince Roof Rack on the GX. It looks so good. Uh, it's a little bit time consuming. Um, obviously, we were filming and the boys were helping. I really wanted this to be a learning experience for them because, you know, really nothing super technical here. Just, you know, working on stuff together, which made it fun. It looks exceptional. I am excited to put this thing to use. You will notice that there is a cutout for a light bar. I do plan on adding one at some point in time. I've never had a light bar before, but thought it might be good. I do do a decent amount of off-road driving in the dark. So having a little bit extra light out there would be cool. That's something that'll get added in the future, but not super pressing at this moment. But another cool feature, another cool upgrade added to the GX. I'm excited about how this build is coming along. Right now I'm working on coming up a way to secure this mounting plate that I use for the fridge slide. In the Jeep, I had it where this piece right here tied into some factory supports. So I think I'm gonna do something similar, but the current piece of plywood isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna take this off and then see if I can't flip the entire thing this way and use it the long way because it's a little bit deeper tie into that back factory connection, tie into this factory connection. We'll see.
Alright. Yeah, my idea actually worked. Yeah, that's holding in there good. Alright, here we go. I've got it in. So my plan did work. It took a little bit of finagling to get it to work, but totally is locked down. So I've got a hook in there that's hooked into the factory mounting point. And then you just crank down on these to get it nice and tight. Plenty of clearance. Now it doesn't leave it great for being able to lay something there, which I thought maybe I'd put a table or something. So that is one downside to this. I do think I'm gonna come up with putting some metal on the side here to close off the little holes that I'm holding it over. And honestly, that may be enough to hold it into place without letting it you know, get too crazy. So I'm gonna maybe look at doing that as well. But I like this because I could take it out easy if I want to. I can just unscrew this, unscrew that, take the plate out if we need more of the back here for stuff that we're doing. Well, I'm in the garage and when I built my very first plate for the Jeep, a lot of people did not like that I left the bare wood that I mounted the slider on. So uh, I was at Home Depot looking for an edge piece that I can put around where those brackets are gonna be and they had some remnants of some carpet. So I'm going to, I've been stapling that down and the bottom part of this carpet actually has some rubber. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom side that sits on the GX. I noticed with the Jeep that the wood, even though there was very little shifting, it did kind of rub and left some markings on the carpet there. And because technically the carpet in the GX is the back of the third row seats, I'd like to have a little bit of a barrier there in between so that it just kind of helps keep those a little bit nicer. So that's what I'm working on right now. So I have drilled in a couple of these just little uh, mounting pieces for trailer hardware. That makes it so that I can just slide the factory mounting right in between this and then this all kind of actually holds it pretty well in place. Now I think what I'm going to do is then do a bridge similar to this but with a hook on it and then I can just zip tie the bridge that goes over this to the factory hardware and that should be able to keep the all of that combined keep it really well in place. Everything with the fridge slide all wrapped up. Really excited about having this installed. The system I had before was not carpeted, so I took the plywood, I have carpeted it now, which just gives it a nice cleaner look. And my favorite thing about it is, because it's using these factory mounts right here to be held in place, um, I've got a little bracket. All I have to do is unhook this, cut that off, and I can pick up the entire thing off and take it out nice and easy. It's really easy to remove, which is gonna be good for when we need this back area uh, and these third row seats. In conclusion, I think that this is looking really good. I'm excited about all of these additions. I have others forthcoming. One of the things that's a negative about having a fridge in the rear is you can't stack stuff on top of it very easily. And so I need to come up with some type of other system. You basically have two options as far as I can tell. You can build a box that goes around your fridge, which a lot of people do. I like those, but I don't think they'll be as easy to just take out. And so I think what I'm gonna to try to do is put a rack that goes right along the top. There's a couple of companies that make them that I like. And then I will actually hang a bin underneath it so I can still utilize most of that space, leave a small gap above where the fridge is at so that if I want to take it out, I can take the bin out, I can take the fridge out, and I can still use those third row seats. That's forthcoming. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, but I'm just looking at all of my options there. If you enjoyed this video, you wanna follow the GX460 build series, please like and subscribe. If you wanna follow me on the day-to-day, -day, you can do so on Instagram at Backroad Exploration. Thanks for watching.